I mean, it can't explode, can it? I mean, I've watched some pretty crazy videos this week, so it could explode. <laughs> What's up creators? I'm here with my beautiful girlfriend Sarah and today we're about to try to fire up this 440 big block that we have for the 74 Plymouth Cuda project. I got it all wired up on my custom engine stand that I built so I think what I'm going to do is hand my camera off to Sarah and uh, I'll show you kind of all the details of the engine stand and then we'll move the car, move the engine towards the door and try to fire it up. You think it'll start? We'll find out. Stay tuned. So we are in the Mad Lab and we have our 440 big block on our custom engine stand. This 440 big block is out of an RV, it's out of a motorhome. I paid a thousand bucks for the motor and we're going to be throwing it into our project Barracuda, our Mopar. So I'll give you guys an idea of what I did to the engine stand to get it to this point. I've never built one before, so it was kind of tricky figuring out all the wiring and plumbing and how I should build it and what I should do, but I wanted to keep it very simple. So starting from the motor, we got our 440 big block mounted with a 727 automatic transmission. So I went out to our local Harbor Freight Princess Auto Store and bought this engine stand, which I had to modify. So I modified the engine stand to support the engine and transmission. And then off of that, I built this stand that houses our gauges, holds our radiator. So I'll kind of show you guys that now. Coming up to the front here, I got this panel that I made out of an old toolbox that houses all the gauges and holds all the electronics. So doing a bunch of research on engine stands, there's a couple different ways you could go about doing this. If I didn't have all my ECM and wiring harness, I could just straight wire it to the starter, to my coil, and have very basic wiring. But because I had the whole wiring harness, I wanted to, to try to wire everything up as it would be in the car and that way if everything does work I can basically take this whole wiring harness, put it to the firewall in the car and I know that I'll have a working wiring harness with our 440 big block. So on this panel we have over here, this will be our ignition. This is our push button start that goes straight to our starter and then this switch here is for our electric fan. So, does it work? I don't know, we're gonna find out. Moving across the board, we got our ballast resistor all wired in to our ECM. And then we got our voltage regulator, which goes to our alternator. Um, and then up here, we have all of our gauges. So we got oil pressure, water temp, amperage, and our RPM gauge. Today, I just have the oil pressure uh, gauge hooked up to make sure that I have uh, oil pressure, that's kind of the most critical one. So making sure that we have oil pressure is key. Our RPM gauge, I'll hook that up tomorrow if the motor does fire up and run. But for today, we just wanted our oil pressure gauge. Um, coming over here, we have our fuel line. Going to our fuel pump with a filter so I can just make sure that we're getting fuel and that the fuel is clean. And what else can I show you? Our radiator is all plumbed in here, top and bottom, with an electric fan that's been wired up. Everything else on the 440 big block is stock. I did, however, remove all the emission hoses and vacuum lines the other day, because it was so cluttered up and there's this vacuum lines going to the air snorkel and stuff that I just didn't want. I want this thing basic, old school. So I disconnected all of our vacuum lines which I can kind of show you here. You're an awesome camera girl. <laughs> so you can see a bunch of different vacuum lines going to your brake booster and different kind of solenoids and whatnot. So I got rid of all that junk. The engine looks a lot cleaner. So our coil's all wired up. Our carburetor is working good. So I guess that's kind of it. What else can I go over? 
The nice thing is, when the guy took the motor out of the, the motor home, he was able to cut the exhaust, leaving some pipe on there for me. Because I told him I want to fire it up on an engine stand, so that'll be nicer. We won't be shooting flames out of the headers. We'll be able to exit the exhaust out of the garage a little bit better. Um, carburetor is a thermal quad carburetor, not a quadrajet. I screwed that up on the last video, and one of my subscribers said it's not a quadrajet, it's a thermal quad. I think Carter, the manufacturer of this uh, carburetor, makes quadrajets as well by Rochester, but uh, I could be wrong on that. But this is a thermal quad, old school. What do you say, baby? Should I wire up the battery? Well, first we'll move the CUDA out of the way uh, so we can point the engine with the exhaust facing outside. We're gonna hook up the battery and I'm gonna listen and smell for any electrical fires. I did a lot of wiring up here, as you guys can see. So the first thing that we're gonna check for is electrical issues. If we don't have any electrical issues and we got power going to the ignition, to the fan, and to our starter, That'll be the next thing that we check. We're gonna make sure that this engine cranks over. If the engine cranks over, we're gonna check for spark. And if we got spark, we're gonna add some fuel down the carburetor, try to fire it up. Let's move the CUDA out of the shop or out of the way. Move the 440 by the door and try to fire the second up. Let's do it. For greatness in a sea of the dying and shameless uh, A sea of the aimless I don't wanna be one of the nameless I'ma wake up with the mindset that one day I'm gonna make it Okay, so next step Coming over here Once we flip this ignition switch It's gonna put power to our relay And put power to our engine uh, Once I do that I can actually check the fan And then I know I got power going through here So here we go One thing I can do is, actually let's just try the fan first. We got 12 volts. Check back here, you can see the electric fan running maybe. You might be able to hear it. There we go, so we have ignition, we have power. So I was gonna check it with my uh, test light to make sure that we have power going to the starter and stuff, but we'll turn the ignition off. Pretty confident that the starter is going to turn over. So we have ignition. Our starter power wire is hooked up. So let's just go ahead, hit the ignition. We'll see if the starter works and see if it, the engine spins over. This is the first time that this engine has spun over since I got it. I did move it with a wrench to make sure that it wasn't seized, but under its own 12 volt power, this is the first time that this motor is going to spin over. So. I'm, I don't know why I'm so nervous about this. I'm excited, but I'm nervous. Here we go, okay. Ignition. Let's see if the starter works. I didn't like that sound. Nothing's smoking. Let's just hold it down a little bit longer. The battery probably doesn't have enough crank. We need more power. This battery, I think, is a shitty-ass dead battery, so that really sucks. I'm gonna have to go steal another battery out of another car, so we can end it here. What we're gonna check here is I got my voltmeter out. We're gonna hold these, so if you wanna hold that to the positive, or to there, that's to the negative. And we're gonna check, so right now we got 12.2. Yeah, so it's already pretty low. But I'm gonna hit the starter, and we're gonna see if that voltage just drops right off. So here we go. We got ignition. I'm gonna hit the starter. We're gonna keep an eye on that gauge. Yeah, it drops right down. Round two. <laughs> this is out of the Pontiac Fiero Ferrari kit car. I don't know if we're gonna have enough juice. Pretty sure we got a good connection. Pretty shitty terminal, so I don't know if that's causing it too, maybe. Okay. So, let's see if we can get it to crank over a little bit better here. There goes nothing. Ignition. Way better. Okay, let's check for a spark. Let me grab a little wrenchola here. All right, 
Got my spark plug wrench. We'll come over to this side here. We'll yank out whatever we we'll yank out this plug here. We'll check for a spark. Good set of pliers with a rubber handle on it so I don't get electrocuted. It's got the gas in it. Got the gas. Yeah. Squirting gas everywhere. It's squirting gas everywhere. <laughs> Good thing it's over here. Yeah. You ready? Yep. We got ignition. Here we go. I don't know what that clicking sound is. We should see spark coming off of a, a good engine stud, right? Our coil is wired up. We could check to see if we got power going in here, which we should. So let's just kill the ignition. Put this back in. Yeah, we should have spark. So what I will try is... Is this supposed to make that noise? I don't know what that clicking sound is. Could be the starter. It wasn't doing that with spark plug out. So... You mean in? In, sorry, yeah. No, but this noise. Oh yeah, it's just all the, the heat of the pistons okay. going up and down and oil being moved around inside the engine right now. Okay, so. Let's, let's just check up here and see if we got power going to spark. I'll go to my negative, positive, no power, no power. Hmm. You want me to stop it? Yeah, maybe for now. <laughs> because we don't have spark, I'm gonna try something. So what I think could be happening is on my panel here, I got my ECM mounted. And these have to be grounded out usually. And I just checked for ground on the block. If we look over here. We have good ground, but if you check up here, this whole panel isn't grounded. So I'm just gonna run a ground wire from the battery up to this bolt here, because that could be our issue. So let's go ahead, run this up to the ECM, ground that unit out, and see if we got spark from there. Okay. That goes to there. Now, I don't know if this is gonna fix our issue or not, but we're gonna find out right now, guys. Tighten it up. And girls. Okay, so we're hooked up to our ground here. Let's go to that connection point there, a little bit better. All right, grab our test light. And we will see if we got a good ground. There we go, so we got good ground there, so let's grounded out now guys so that should potentially fix our issue let's see if that worked or not I've been working on this for about a week now to midnight every night just wiring it up picking away learning lots as I go so let's see okay we have spark now ignition here we go I don't see any spark there. So that's hooked up to the negative. Which we should have. Huh. We got ground, but we're not getting power going to the coil for some reason. Why don't we have power going to the coil? I want to make sure we got spark before I put some gas in it, but I, it's cranking over good, so I think it would fire up, but... All right, creators, it is day two. We had a bit of an issue last night, not getting spark to the 440 big block. On my control board, we have our relay on this side here, and initially when I was powering this side here up, it was giving power to our relay, but it wasn't giving power to our ballast resistor, the ECU, and the rest of the system over to our coil. So that wasn't hot. Would you be able to, babe, hold that? We got our power source here. 
hooked up to negative and we got our test light. So Sarah's gonna hold it to the positive side of our coil right now. So now that we've hot wired a second toggle switch, we're putting power to our, so what we're doing now is we're putting power directly to this. Okay, we're gonna figure, we're gonna figure this out. Okay, so I added a second toggle and this will now power up this secondary power source which goes over to our ballast resistor all the way down to our coil. So babe, if you wanna hold the light to the positive side, we should, in theory, power up our relay, which is putting power to our, there. And when I hit this toggle switch, it should power up the second power source, which powers up our ballast resistor all the way to our pickup coil. So let's hit this now and see if that test light comes on. There we go. So light off. We got power to our coil. So we should have spark now. So let's wheel this thing outside of the garage. See if we got spark, we'll pull one of the spark plugs out, which we should, because we got power going to our coil, to our distributor. So here we go, let's move the car back out of the way, push the engine near the garage door in the Mad Lab, and see if we can finally get the 440 big block to fire up. We are ready for the second attempt to try to fire up our 440 big block out of a motorhome. I think we got everything good to go. I'm just gonna hook power up to our starter and we're gonna check for a spark to make sure we have it because we got power going to our pickup coil, distributor, etc. So let's just get after it and see if it'll fire up here. Okay, we got power to our starter. That powers up our circuit board and our computer. Okay, so that is all energized and powered up. Pull that off. It's snowing outside and it's Canada and it's cold. Okay. What's next, babe? <laughs> I'm so excited. We got spark right now. We're gonna pour some fuel, some gasoline down the Card, see if it fires up. All right, everything's clear. We got spark. Did you see that? <laughs> All right, Kate, okay, hold it down. Okay, I have no words. We have spark. That was a lot of tossing and turning last night. I was up to like 12 o'clock with my laptop, just trying to figure out what I did wrong. But we figured out the power. We just got it hot wired right now, so. Not a big deal. Let's hook up the jerry can and uh, we'll pour some gas down the carts. If you come over on this side here, you'll see what I got going on. It is a fuel filter with our fuel line going to our fuel pump. So I could make this shorter. So we are going to insert fuel. And the other thing we're gonna do, what we did last night, we're gonna get the fire extinguishers ready, just in case. You never know. I don't wanna jinx it, but. So we got one here and we got one over there, just in case. Okay, let's power this off. That's powered up right now, that's not good. <laughs> let's put that spark plug back in. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I've been waiting a long time to hear this motor fire up. Paid a thousand bucks for it. It was out of a 1979 Dodge Sportsman RV motorhome. I don't know exactly what it is. It's like a big van type thing. And uh, apparently it's got, I just looked at the, the gauge cluster, like 11,000 kilometers. I thought it was 30, but it's 11,000. It might look dirty, but it's really just surface dirt on there. Okay, we got our spark plug back in. It could be 111. Clump, thousand kilometers, but who knows? Either way, it's super clean. It's not rusted up. Too bad. Okay, those are all on. We got spark. 
I'm gonna leave the choke closed for now on the first startup. We'll see if it'll fire up. If it doesn't, we'll open up the choke, give it some more air. All right, moment of truth. Everything's connected over there. It might take a while for the fuel to catch up, so I might keep have to keep adding a little bit of fuel um, down the, the tube there. I just wanna make sure I'm doing everything correctly. We'll grab some gasoline. Brother Steven is is awaiting the arrival. Come on in, brother. Scared. <laughs> he must have heard all the rockets. Oh my god. Sarah's scared. <laughs> Hi. Brother Hi. Steve is we're getting ready to fire it up. Okay. I had a lot of problems last night. No, this is good. The fire extinguisher is here and over there if we need it. Okay. But uh I, I've never done this before, so let's see what happens. Okay, so does it taste off like a jet? <laughs> I don't know, it shouldn't. I want to make sure I got oil pressure too once we're ready to do that. But let's just see what happens here. All right, so I'm gonna pour a little bit down here. Hope to not get it all over the motor. Let's just start with a little bit. To start, let's put a little bit in there. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna get this gasoline away from here. So, let's just see what happens. I, there's so many things going on here, but it's pretty basic. So, we're gonna fire up our ignition. Where do you want me to stand? Right there is good for now. Okay. <laughs> Am I safe here? You're safe there. We're gonna fire up power to our coil. Here we go, let's just see what happens. I'll go ahead and hit the throttle. We need throttle. Should have sparkulated. Let's double check, make sure we got power going for the coil, which we do. So we should be getting spark. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Pour a little bit of quick start in there. See what happens. Power it up. Power, power. Oh. Needs more fuel. We had a little something. We got fuel going into the fuel filter on this side. So that's good news. I think we're gonna have to fold this choke open. My mechanic at work said, hold the choke open. Um, sure. Actually, no, you know what? We'll keep your hands away from there. I was going to say, is that safe? So let's just wedge this open like this. Those might fall out, but we'll be okay. Let's just go with this. All right. So, here we go. No way! <laughs> there we go. Get on the throttle. Whoa, we got a fuel leak. Uh -oh. Power off. Come over here for a sec, babe. Oh. So you can see we got a big fuel leak there. I don't know if you guys can see that, so let's try to tighten that up real quick. No way. <laughs> what size does that look like? Half inch or? Smaller. 316. That's weird. Those are factor. I never loosened those off either. Nine sixteenths. There's a gasket, right? Oh, that's loose. So maybe he pulled it off or something. Don't tell me that's leaking out of the fitting. Yeah, there's gonna be a gasket in there. Well, that's loose too. So he must have pulled this off or something. Okay, he fixed our gas leak. Good thing we noticed that. We dry that up. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this. I'm so excited! Jesus Did you see Christ. blowing that rust? Okay. So, there's a bunch of fuel on the exhaust and everything right now, so that's kind of what you want when you fire up a motor. All right, you're good there. Let's try this again. I'm good here? Yeah. All right, here goes nothing. So we're gonna put these pliers in our choke. 
Just hold that open a bit. And we're gonna get ready to be on the throttle. It smells gasoline-y, but here we go. Power, power. Flood it. I'm gonna grab a light and see if it's squirting fuel. Fuel's starting to come up here, so we should be getting fuel. It should be getting fuel now. That sounds good. Sounds amazing. Mm -hmm. Let's see if it'll get fuel from the pump. Let's we'll see if we get the idle to, to raise up a bit so I can let it run for a bit here. How's the sound? <laughs> oh my god, I'm so friggin' excited right now. <laughs> run for a second and uh, kind of warm up. I filled it up with coolant. We have the electric fan hooked up. Let's see if it works. Yep. We don't need that right now. The motor's not getting too hot. Oh my God, I am so excited. <laughs> Babe, can you hit this throttle here a little bit? Just Roll it out a little bit. Oh, yeah. No way, a little bit more. Give it some pepper. <laughs> We're putting the 440 big block inside the Cuda. No way. That was so good, eh? What do you think, brother? Woo! That's all you got to say? That's all you got to say. <laughs> no way. So, I hooked up an oil pressure. Comes all the way up. You can see the oil on the line, and we got great oil pressure. Hey babe, can you give it a couple of whaps? I just want to see if the oil pressure moves. We're golden. It runs so good, it's so clean. Nothing. You want to give her a couple of whaps? Brother Steve's gonna give her a couple whaps. Ready? We're ready. <laughs> Let's see if I drop the choke. It's all good. down that should have killed it oh no that that one kills it nice Dude, that sounds so good. Good job, there's no man. rods clicking or anything oh my god i did it fired up my first 440 big block on an engine stand that i custom built this is awesome it runs amazing sounds good man it does sound real good all right guys that's gonna be the end of this episode i hope you enjoyed it i gotta go inside i think i got like an hour to edit and upload this 
It might be a little bit later than 9 o'clock tonight, but either way you're going to get the video of this motor firing up. So thanks for being patient. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and we'll catch you guys next time. A ciao, ciao, woo! <laughs> Do it. do it, I'll show you how to do it. All right, so. Look at this, this is a goddamn computer. <laughs> goddamn computer. Hit ignition, that'll give power to everything. Flip it up, okay. This is gonna put power to our coil and the rest of the computer system and everything. Okay. Okay, Microsoft and IBM are ready. This is your push start, so whenever you're ready, See if it fires up. <laughs> no way! Yeah, buddy! So good! Holy crap! Shut her down! Anyone, yeah. There you go. And then kill that power. There you go. Don't pull it out. Just kill it. You don't have to disassemble my computer. I had to. <laughs>